Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros. We're going to do division in uh, MIPS assembly right now using the QT SPIM aim simulator. We're going to do a, a, a few other things too. I'm going to show you how to manipulate uh, bytes and uh, format your uh, output specifically. Uh, and we're going to um, make it look like this. I'll put a comment up here as to uh, uh, what we want it to look like. We actually want it to look like uh, something like uh, 17 divided by 5 is equal to 3 with a remainder of a 2. So that's kind of what we want it to look like. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's, uh, uh, using that as our, uh, our design, let's start from there. So we're going to need a couple of uh, data items here and uh, we're going to use the byte field. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to need a, we're going to need a slash and this is the, just the name I gave it, and it's a byte, and it is a single quotes like that. We're going to need an equal to print that out, okay, uh, as also a byte, and that is a equal sign. We're also going to need a, a string, uh, we'll call, call it uh, rim, okay, and uh, that is a ASCII's character and is double quotes uh, space rem space we'll put spaces on either side of it. so there is our data we have our text field which says this is uh, going to be our source code the global main tells us the entry point to our program and right there is the entry point well let's start off well um, we need to do this in several steps the very first thing we need to do is we need to print out that uh, 17 well no the first thing we need to do is we need to do our arithmetic so let's uh, load an immediate uh, register with uh, the number 17 okay and uh, we'll say uh, load t2 with with uh, 17 I'll put the comments in here Okay, we're going to load immediate and we're going to load the divisor into T3 with uh, 5. We'll say uh, load uh, T3 with, uh, with 5. Now we're going to actually do the division. Okay, and we're going to divide uh, T2 by T3. Okay, do divide. Now, the division, unlike, uh, excuse me, I put a comma in there. The division, unlike addition and subtraction, which we did in a previous video, requ required, which required three operands. This only requires two, and that is because, uh, and I'll put these in quotes, uh, in comments. The quotient goes in uh, register low. Okay. The remainder goes in register high. So that's where they go. So we'll move those in later. But now what we do is we have this kind of laborious task of printing out that, that entire string up there. And it is it is a little tedious. It's not difficult to do. It just takes quite a number of steps. All right. So let's start off. The very first thing we need to do is we need to print off the um, uh, the, um, the dividend, uh, the dividend, which is 17 in this case. So we'll print that off. So we need to do this by loading immediate into v0. The thing that's in uh, uh, an integer, which is 1, uh, print an integer. We need to move the integer into a0 which is in uh, this case T2 A0 and then we need to run it okay print the integer and at this particular point let's go ahead and let's save our file and uh, I don't want to go too far without actually assembling it and making sure it works. Let's uh, reinitialize and load the file. It's our sample program right there. When we've been using, we'll just say, OK, it uh, did it. We'll say simulator, and we'll run and continue. 
And let me bring the console over. You can see it printed out the number 17. So we're, we're in good shape. We're in good shape. All right, so we printed out the number 17. Now we want to print out the slash. How do you do that? This is something you've not seen before. It's printing out a byte. That code is actually 11. Okay. Print a byte. A byte. Now we have to get the byte into A0. That's done by LB. Now I can do this one of two ways. I can actually load the address of the character that I want to do into a register. Or in this case, I can take a shortcut. I can just load it directly. You say slash load the byte and this is a this is a more than uh, decent way to do it and then we say syscall now since I haven't done a load byte and printed a byte before let's go ahead and save it and let's just test it to make sure it works we've got another one we've got to do and I want to make sure I'm doing it right actually I know I'm doing it right I've done this a couple times already today and let's run our program simulator run and we'll bring the console back over and you can see that it is indeed put the byte right there 17 slash so that looks uh, that looks pretty good alright okay um, let's uh, make the code a little bit bigger here for those of you who want to see it that always helps uh, helps me anyway alright so we printed out the slash now we want to print out the uh, uh, number 5 and we can do that. We can say load immediate, and that is uh, v0 with 1. And we tell them that we want to print an integer. Uh, move the integer into a0, which in this case it is in t3. t3. <coughs> and then do a syscall. We'll go ahead and print out the equal signs too while we're at it, and then we'll run it and make sure it works okay. So that we know how to do that. That's v0. We put in the number 11. That is uh, print a byte. Okay. We want to load the byte from into a0 from uh, equal. Okay. Load the byte, and then actually call syscall to to do it. Okay. <coughs> <clears throat> cool. Let's save this. Okay. These are all things that we uh, know how to do. We'll say file, reinitialize, load it, see if we got any syntax errors. Looks okay. That that's always an encouraging sign. We're going to run it and pull our console back over and you can see that indeed 17 divided by 5 equal. Now we need to put the answers in there. All right. All right, now from here on out, we're going to do the answers. We're going to do some things we hadn't done before. Now we're going to uh, print out the, the answer, which in this case is the number 3. That answer is contained in the low register. So how do I get that? Well, we want to prepare to print a integer. So we, we know how to do that. B0 and 1. Okay. Print an integer. And then now what we want to do is we want to move that answer into the A0 register. That's done by this command, MF low. It's move low and just A0. Where do you want it to go? We don't have to put the low register in there. It knows the register we're talking about. Okay. Move answer into dollar sign A0 and then do a syscall. Now let's try that. Let's go just to convince you to make sure, just to convince you that it works. We're going to go up here and see if we got any errors. Reinitialize. No, we'll just hit enter. Simulator. Run and continue. And let's pull the console over. Yep, 17 divided by 3, divided by 5 is equal to 3. That looks real good. Very good. Now we'll go ahead and finish. What we've got left to do is print out the remainder and the, uh, the REM and then the remainder. And we'll go ahead and do those. So we know how to print out a string. We uh, load immediate into v0 with 4. We load the address of the string in a0, uh, uh, rem, and then do syscall. Let's go ahead and put our comments in there. Okay. <coughs> Print a string, 
and I'm going to try to be exact. I'm going to try to always put in comments. I think commenting is a very, very good practice. Load the address of the string. Print the string. Now then, now we want to load immediate. We want to print out a, an integer. Okay, that's the answer. And again, we use the same mf high into a0. Okay, that uh, moves remainder into a0. Okay, tell it to to print a an integer. Spell integer right. Okay. All right, this looks okay. We don't know for sure until we run it. We're going to save it. We'll go up here, file, reinitialize and load. Always reinitialize and load. It's the same program, so we can just say okay. There are no errors. We'll say simulator, and let's pull our console over here. Okay, we'll say uh, uh, simulator and uh, run and continue, and there we have it. 17 divided by 5 is equal to 3 with a remainder of 2. I pulled my calculator up and checked it, and that is the correct answer. So very good. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you do a division. It's also an example of how you uh, load and print bytes, and hope this helps you out. Uh, we'll continue on with more demonstrations of QT-SPIM and uh, MIPS assembly language in uh, more videos. Have a good day.